Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's tropical update. So we have three areas to watch in the Atlantic Basin, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on the a system that's in the South Central Caribbean. And this one has a 20% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next five days now. Uh, looking at the uh, European model for this possible disturbance in the Southern Caribbean, uh, we're not really going to be seeing any development over the next uh, five to six days likely, but after that, things could develop. So looking at the European model, beginning uh, today, we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, showers and thunderstorms across the Caribbean, bringing a lot of rain to the Windward Islands, Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola through Sunday. And then as we head into next Monday and Tuesday, we're going to watch this buildup of moisture north of Venezuela around Trinidad, Tobago for a possible development of, of a tropical cyclone around next Tuesday. Now the European model does not show anything developing, thankfully, in this area. Instead, bringing just a bunch of rain to the central and southern Windward Islands and northern uh, South America. But I'm going to continue to watch this to see if the European model starts picking up on tropical development north of Venezuela. And looking at the GFS model, the GFS model uh, starting uh, today shows a whole bunch of showers and storms across much of the Caribbean, a lot of rain for the Windward Islands, Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola through Thursday and Friday. Now, uh, we'll pay attention to this feature here moving over Trinidad on uh, Saturday. This is the wave of energy that could potentially develop into a hurricane, or not a hurricane, maybe a hurricane, a tropical storm or hurricane uh, by ne early next week across the South Central Caribbean. So going into Saturday afternoon and Sunday, we see the disturbance move west of Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and move north of Venezuela, just east of the ABC Islands. And by Monday, the uh, GFS starts to spin a tropical depression northeast of the ABC Islands. And going into Tuesday, the GFS model develops a tropical storm uh, between the ABC Islands and the Dominican Republic. And when the GFS rapidly uh, intensifies this tropical system into a strong tropical storm, or this is actually a category one or two hurricane by next Wednesday and uh, moves it west towards Central America uh, through next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. Now this is uh, getting into this is getting into about um, nine, ten days out. So from here, this model take it with a grain of salt, but uh, we could be seeing a hurricane in the Caribbean somewhere. Uh, sometime next uh, Tuesday through through next Saturday. So if you're anywhere in the Caribbean, uh, please pay close attention to the tropics because we could be dealing with some, with a hurricane between next Tuesday and uh, Sunday, November the 6th. So looking at rainfall totals, regardless of development, there's going to be a lot of rain in the Caribbean. So looking at the rainfall tolls, first with the European model over the next six days. Or over the next seven days, I should say, we're going to be seeing uh, we're going to be seeing uh, widespread areas from St. Vincent and the Grenadines through Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago of four to seven inches with much of northern Venezuela in fact, the whole country seeing about two to five inches with isolated seven inches. Puerto Rico, about uh, three to five inches. And the northeastern Lesser Antilles, about one to three inches. So we're going to likely be seeing flooding the ABC Islands, about four to seven inches. So we're likely going to be seeing flooding across 
uh, many of the islands across the Caribbean as well as northern Venezuela. And looking at the GFS rainfall totals, the GFS is putting even more rainfall tolls than the European model. The GFS is putting as much as uh, 7 to 10 inches over Trinidad and Tobago over the next uh, seven days. We could be dealing with some pretty bad flooding across Trinidad and Tobago if this happens. Also about 7 to 8 inches across Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, even towards St. Lucia and towards, uh, let's say, towards uh, Guadalupe and Do Dominica, we could be seeing as much as three to six inches over the next seven days. Puerto Rico, four to seven inches. Virgin Islands, four to seven inches. ABC Islands, uh, three to five inches. And much of Venezuela and northern Colombia, about two to six inches. So uh, regardless of whether there's a hurricane or not, there's going to be a lot of flooding, I believe, across the Caribbean. So make sure you prepare for that. Thanks for watching this evening's tropical update. I will continue to update you on this potential tropical disturbance as the days progress. Uh, stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.